Hello and welcome to this week's podcast. We are coming towards the end of our mock exam uh, process. It's a really useful process for our students gets them thinking about what it's going to be like for them in the summer, gives them an opportunity to be in those test conditions, and then what will follow from this, really importantly, is the feedback that comes from it from our teachers to our students. They get to learn how they're doing, what they can improve on, as they take those next steps towards that um, summer examination process. Huge congratulations to some of our year eight art students. Anave, Ava and Tanisha have all um, been nominated and gone through as finalists in the Voices of Youth program. Our three are phenomenal. We've got a piece that's all about nobody can take my rights away. There's a piece of artwork around life below water and there's a, a piece of artwork about how we've got to grip with COVID-19. We're so proud to have a generation raising their voices to build a better world. Texas Mock Trial, one of our uh, fabulous enrichment programs that we do here for our high school students. They are competing in the district competition on Saturday. We wish them all the best. Take a look at what's been happening around the campus. Hey Bulldog Nation, I'm Trin Angelucci, your Interim Athletic Director. Welcome to this week's Sports Report. We had two successful home soccer games this week, and tonight we're hosting two more contests. Good luck to both Coach Callum, Coach Nat, and all the players involved. Next week, our soccer groups will be on the road. We're hosting a home basketball match Tuesday versus Emory Wiener at 5 p.m. in our Gold Gym. Please come out and support. Congratulations to Coach Mary and Coach Andy and all the swimmers last week that competed in the regional swim contest. We have multiple swimmers that are going to qualify for states. Those results will come out tomorrow. We cannot wait to announce the names. Congratulations to all those that competed. Lastly, track and tennis are on the move. Tryouts this week continue with Coach Hannah for tennis and track season starting very soon. That concludes this week's sports report. Good luck to all of our Bulldogs tonight and tomorrow night. Can't wait to see you all soon. Go Bulldogs. Let me draw your attention to a few things that are coming up in the near future. We've got the year nine and 11 courses and pathways options evening. Please check out the details for that in the newsletter. This is an important event for students that are thinking about that next stage of education where they're gonna be moving into high school from middle school or where they're moving on to the final two years and looking at the range of pathways that we have available for students from our high school diploma pathways, our IB pathways, DP and CP, and our new really exciting dual credit pathway where we're working with US universities. We're really excited to be having one of our cultural festivals on campus again next week. It is Lunar New Year, allowing people to dress up in red as is tradition for that event or wear traditional dress um, connected to Lunar New Year. And Xin Yen Kuai Le. Our parent satisfaction survey is coming to a final close. It's the very last shout out for anyone that's not had a chance to do it. Please take a few moments, follow the link in the newsletter and complete that for us. We're very grateful to receive your feedback. We may only be halfway through the year, but we're already thinking about the yearbook for the end of the year. And all of our families receive one yearbook per family from us as a school, as a memento of the year. If you would like additional copies, you'd like to get one third per child, please check out the link in the newsletter and you can order those for you as well. Where would we be without a COVID-19 update? The CDC have just updated their guidance again, and therefore we've updated our guidance again in our parent handbook in line with that. 
please look at the parent handbook to see those updated details. One important thing that I will draw your attention to, now that home um, tests are more readily available here in the US, as a school we are moving to accepting home tests as part of our process. But please check out the link, make sure you're up to date with all of the information around their processes for the school in terms of COVID-19 related issues. Stay up to date with all of the happenings around the campus in our newsletter. Please make sure you follow any of the links that are in there for further information. And as always, go Bulldogs!